All right, guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful day. Here in the end times on this glorious Sunday afternoon, July 21st, 2024, and I really do need to get to work. But guys, I I, I just gonna, I'm I'm just gonna make this quick. I uh, <laughs> we all need a little uh, a little doomer humor. Uh, so right here on the mainstream media and the Sunday news uh, from some outfit calling itself futurism scientist takes high dose of psilocybin yes scientist takes high dose of psilocybin clambers into MRI machine to scan his own brain so this is I guess what his brain looked like with a high dose of psilocybin. This is uh, Nico Dosenbach, an associate professor of neurology at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis, got to fa find out firsthand what happens to the brain when it is on psychedelics for science, of course. Dosenbach, you gotta love the, the first name in his, the first word in his name is Dose. Dosenbach got a high dose of psilocybin from his colleagues. What else are friends for? And as he started tripping, as he started tripping, he entombed himself in the claustrophobic confines of an MRI machine. Yes. I I anyway, so he goes in uh, describing to CNN uh, this wild fucking trip he went on on his high dose of psilocybin. Uh, this was done as part of a new study published in the journal Nature, in the journal Nature, which they have the link to, and of which Dosenbach is a co-author to unlock the psychedelic secrets behind the active compound in mush magic mushrooms. Uh, scientists and dedicated trippers have long wondered how it is that psilocybin can distort our perception of space-time, induce ego death, and also perhaps be a promising therapeutic tool goes on and on I I I I I love this one uh from a psychotherapist standpoint this uh, I mean basically basically Magic mushrooms could help us break out of our brain's bad habits, guiding us out of our doomy thought patterns into greener pastures. Yes, a key point is that this is best pursued with a professional self-medicating is not recommended. Uh-huh. Okay. So then we get to the small print of the story about a scientist taking a high dosage of psilocybin. The study was conducted with sev seven adult participants, including Dosenbach. They were given a high 25 milligram a 25 milligram dose of psilocybin. 25 milligrams. Uh, 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 okay, guys. Uh, as this guy uh, Humpty Dumpty said at the end of this article, it did not get pulled down by uh, did not get pulled down by Yahoo News. Amazingly enough, 
the the, uh, the the comment was thank you for the laugh i needed it this morning obviously this clueless moron has never heard of terence mckenna so uh of course terence mckenna is the one who uh you know talking about uh, a heroic dose of uh, magic mushrooms, which which I have done uh, four times, and, and so uh, a heroic dose of psilocybin mushrooms is five grams. Is five grams? So what? Five grams of psilocybin. Uh, mushrooms is is five thousand milligrams five thousand milligrams not 25 milligrams and if you want to get out your calculator and divide five thousand by 25 you will find out it is one two hundredth it is what is that 0.05 percent so what the mainstream media uh and, and this clueless fucking moron are labeling a high dosage of psilocybin mushrooms uh that will send you tripping you would have to uh do eat 200 times the amount of, uh, of psilocybin mushrooms to have a heroic dose of, uh, of psilocybin. As I say, I have, I have taken the heroic dose four times in my life, and I really don't need to uh, do it a fifth time. Uh, four times uh, was enough, but, but you know, the, the, the shit... Uh, how, how clueless these fuckers are. What does Terrence say about these people? Uh, what does he say about people who have uh, who take one gram of psilocybin? They eat a one gram of magic mushrooms and act like uh, they they have been to the mushroom castle, as Terrence says. What does he say? Uh, you haven't even gotten to the uh, to the front porch or something like that. You haven't gotten to the screened-in porch of the mushroom castle uh, on on one gram, which I guess what would that be? Forty forty times uh, what the mainstream media is trying to convince uh, anybody is a 25 milligrams of, of mushrooms <clears throat> my guess is like a strong cup of coffee uh, I, I don't even know if I could feel that I think it's called micro dosing I I sent this off to a buddy uh, who micro doses regularly and he sent me back yeah, yeah, thanks for the laugh that that he uh, eats 25 uh, milligrams of psilocybin at least three times a week that I any anybody claim I, I I have never eaten 20 as I say I've never eaten 25 milligrams of magic mushrooms because there's no point. Uh, in, in eating, I, well, I, well, I won't say there's no point. I really haven't studied this micro dosing, but make no mistake what fucking 25 milligrams of psilocybin is. It is a micro dose. And uh, as I say, I, I can't imagine it would do anything more to your brain uh, than a, a fucking cup of coffee at Starbucks. But hey, if it gets rid of those doomy thoughts, because uh, four heroic doses of uh, so 20,000 times 
the high dose that they're talking about, you do that 20,000 times like I have done, and uh, it doesn't seem to have that much therapeutic effect of uh, getting rid of those doomy thoughts, but it sure as hell pulls your fucking head out of your ass. Real quick. Real fucking quick. Anyway. I have got to get out here on this spectacularly gorgeous day and get ready. Uh, I have to go harvest some blackberries for a blackberry cobbler because my sister should be arriving any minute on this gorgeous Sunday in the end times. Bye, guys.